Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I program my Tony G9X transmitter for my NASA GPS. I have the NASA Assistant open here and on the bottom right if you could see in the video it says GPS attitude. That is the current flight mode. Now if I flick the three position switch from the top to the middle, it switches to attitude. And if I flick it all the way down, it goes to manual. I could not find a tutorial on how to set a mix for the failsafe using the gear switch on Turn g 9 x After a couple of hours, I managed to get it figured out and this is the gear switch I'm using to do a false failsafe. See what happens if I flick this gear switch. From GPS, I flick it goes to fail safe, click it back, goes back to GPS. Now let me go to attitude mode. Again if I flick the gear switch, it goes to fail safe. Okay back to attitude. And lastly in the manual flight mode, it says manual here. If I flick it, it goes to fail safe. You can't see it here because there's no blue indication but on the bottom right again you can see it's now in fail safe. Okay, back to manual. Yep, that's how I set it up. And you could use the other methods like um, setting fail safe on the throttle hole, or you could have like GPS attitude fail safe if you are not using the manual for FPV flying but I prefer to have it this way I have all three modes and in any mode I could just flick this switch and it goes to failsafe and the GPS will bring my NASA quadcopter back home now there are a couple of things that you have to do first to get the mix right the first thing I've done is in the reverse, I have to reverse the gear channel. The reason is because I want the normal position to be facing down instead of up. So I reverse that first. Okay, the other requirement is the end points for channel 6, which is the pitch channel. For the mixing to work, I found that I have to max out the end points for the pitch channel to 120% on both ends and that would allow the mix to work flawlessly for the NASA 3 flight modes. Basically I'm using channel 6 on the receiver which is the pitch curve. Okay, I'm going to show you the pitch curve for the first position which is normal and this is GPS for me and that's 65.5% flat curve the reason why I have 5 values the same is you want to make sure that when you're flying this quadcopter it stays in GPS flight mode 65.5% throughout okay. And for attitude mode, it's 32.5%. That's the middle position for me. It's 32.5%, and likewise, it's a flat curve for the same reason I mentioned. And the last position manual is 0% flat curve. Okay, now here's the interesting part how do you set up the mix for the gear switch? To do the fail safe. First of all, you go to auxiliary channel, that's channel 5 on your receiver, and you enable channel 5 to the gear switch here. The gear switch. Once you have done that, you go to the last option, which is programming mix 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to program mix 1. And these are the settings I have. Stake active. Master is the gear. Slave is pitch. 
what this means is I have set the master which is the gear switch to offset the slave which is the pitch channel and I offset it by negative 40 which is the right value for it to switch position from the um, flight mode to fail safe you could try different values but this are the values that work best for me yep that's it it's simple how you can set it up on your Thunder G9X but um, it took me a few hours to get this figure out and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope the video helped you guys see you around